Hey, what's up guys, I'm Eric and HD, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make your own love and fave detector in Scratch. So there are a lot of love and fave detectors being used by a lot of Scratchers, and they seem really complicated, but they're actually extremely simple. And today I'm going to be making one and just showing you guys how simple it is, so you can understand it. So when you begin, you're going to want to make two sprites. The first one is going to be called Love. It's going to detect when the love button is pressed. And the second one is going to be called fave. It's going to detect when the fave button is pressed. So the most important thing you have to do when making this is you have to draw these sprites really well. So you're going to draw these sprites, let's see, like this. Around in the bottom. And basically in the bottom of the screen so that it's just about out of the screen. So basically this will go down here. So, let me show you. So now the love sprite is down right around down here, where the love button is conveniently located. And now we're going to do the same thing with the fave button. We're going to put it down here, but we're going to move it to the right a little. There we go. So, now we're going to make two variables. They're going to be called love and fave. So, love and fave. We're going to make a little sprite. This little line. I love these cat blocks. It's going to be green flag, click, set, fave, and love to zero. And now we're going to do forever. If touching the mouse pointer, then it will set fave to 1 and then we're going to do the same thing to the love sprite all right now let's see there we go so now it works so now we're just going to make a little message, let's say, broadcast, message one, I guess. And we're going to make one last sprite of something that's, some text is going to appear. Alright. And we're done. So, so now we're going to do... Basically, just basics. When green flag clicked hide, and when I receive message one, it's gonna show. So this should probably work. There we go. So this we now have a working love and fave detector, and we can add it so that when the mouse pointer is down, it will. You have to actually click the love and fave buttons, but I'm not gonna do it today. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you enjoyed, why not like and subscribe? It would really help. Thank you all for watching. See you next time.